So you want to send a song out for mixing? Here's how to put a big smile on your mixing engineer's face. Generally speaking, the engineer is going to want to import your tracks, hit play, and hear your mix demo, at least for the instrumental. I'm going to show you the six steps I follow before sending out stems. Step 1. Mix your song to the best of your abilities, as if you're doing the final mix yourself. So add all the effects you want and clean up your tracks, especially vocal tracks, because you don't want your engineer to have to waste time on cutting out unwanted sounds or fixing timing issues and stuff like that. Step 2. Name your tracks like this. 1. Kick, 2. Snare, and so on. So make sure the track names make sense. For vocal tracks, I also like to specify which vocals they are. So lead, doubles, ad-libs, background. And if I export a group of background vocals and stereo, I also specify that. If there are several artists on the song, I also mention the name of the artist. If you'd like a reference for track names, you can download a PDF with all of the tracks of a song I recently released called After All. The link is in the description. Step 3. Check to see if any of your tracks are clipping. If any are clipping or almost clipping, turn them down so there's plenty of headroom. Step 4. Now we can start exporting. Some engineers have their own preferences, so it's always a good idea to just ask them how they like the stems. Exporting tip 1. Generally speaking, if it's a mono track in your project, export it as mono. If it's a stereo track in your project, export it as stereo. Tip 2. Export your instrument tracks with all of your processing on it, including the effects. So hit Command or Control E, choose multiple, and check all of the tracks that you want to batch export. In the effects menu, choose this option to include your sends. If you have effects on an instrument track, but you want to give the engineer the freedom to do their own thing, then export the effects tracks separately. To do that, go to multiple, choose inserts and strip, select the track, and also select the effect tracks you're using. What you don't want to include are the inserts on your master bus, so either bypass those or double check that you don't have this option selected here. Tip 3. For vocal tracks, only leave on your tuning and bypass everything else. Some engineers also like your processed vocal tracks with compression and everything, so ask if you're not sure. Tip 4. Export your stems in the same sample rate your project is in, and have it at at least 24 bit. Now that we've exported all the tracks, let's move on to step 5, which is checking the stems. Open a new project. Import all of the stems you just exported and play the song back. Does it sound exactly like your demo? Then you're done. If something sounds off or if some tracks are missing, go back to the previous steps. And then we're at the final step, sending your files over. These are the things you're going to send to the mixing engineer. A folder that has all of your stems in it. Remember to include the BPM and the key of the song in the folder name. Your own rough mix the instrumental version of your rough mix, a PDF or a text file with your mix notes, these can include a reference track for example, or preferences like really make the bass come through in this part, or definitely keep this delay but do your thing with that one, or anything else they need to know before starting the mix. That way you don't have to go back and forth and your preferences are very clear from the beginning. And that's it! Send everything over in one go. When you get the mix back, take your time to listen to it. Every time you listen to it and you hear something you don't like, write that down. Collect all of your feedback and send it back to the engineer so they can make the changes. And then everybody's happy and the world is a better place. So I hope that helped. If it did, please like the video and also subscribe. And have fun making music.